3 Math, Lesson 35, The Associative Property of Multiplication. The associative property of multiplication says when you group factors in a different order, the product stays the same. The factors are the numbers that you multiply together, the product is the answer, and then you've got parentheses. See? P-A-R-E-N-T, like parent, he says, S-E-S. That's how you spell parentheses. So, it doesn't matter in the associative if the parentheses are around these first two or if it's around the five and the three, the answer will stay the same. So let's look. In this first one, we've got two times three in parentheses and then times one. Two times three is six. Six times one is six. All right. You always do parentheses first, so let's see now. 3 times 1 is 3. 2 times 3 oh, is 6. See? It doesn't matter if you multiply these parentheses first or these parentheses first. The answer is going to stay 6. Let's try this one. Parentheses first. 2 times 2 is, do you know? 4. 4 times 3 is, do you know? 12. Let's do it this way. 3 times 2 is... Do you know what 3 times 2 is? It is 6. 6 times 2 is... 6 times 2 is... 12. See? It didn't matter which ones we multiplied first in the associative property. The answer is going to be the same. Let's try another one. Parentheses first, what's 2 times 5? 2 times 5 is 10. What's 10 times 2? Or 2 times 10, do you know? It's 20. What's 2 times 2? 2 times 2 is 4. What's 4 times 5? 5, 10, 15, 20. Counting by fives, four times, and it's 20, just like this one. See our three friends? They're all three friends. If the red one comes and stands over here, they're still friends. And if the purple one stands over here, they're still friends. Or if he stands over here, they're all still friends. It doesn't matter which two are first, they're still all friends, and they're still all the same. Let's try this one. 7 times 2. 7 times 2. Can you count by 2 7 times? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. What's 14 times 2? That's the same thing as 14 plus 14. 4 and 4 is 8. 1 and 1 is 2. Fourteen times two is twenty-eight. What's two times seven? Same thing as seven times two. It's fourteen. And look, it's the same thing. Fourteen times two, just like we had over here. Fourteen times two is twenty-eight. It's the same thing. So, remember we had commutative property of multiplication? And now we have associative property of multiplication. Now I want you to notice we're saying of multiplication because there is associative and community property of addition. That would have plus signs here instead of the times table sign. Okay, so can you see the difference? Can you look at this side and see what's different than over here? The 3 and the 4 are switched. The 3 is first and then a 4. In this one, the 4 is first and then the 3. That's commutative. It's saying it doesn't matter if you go backwards or forwards, it's the same. But see how the parentheses are in the same spot. They're still on the, on the last two. In the associative one, the 3 and 4 are all in the same place. All the numbers are staying in their same place. They're staying home. But the parentheses are different. See, they're grouped different. So they have different associates. An associate is someone you hang out with or a friend or a coworker. Like a business associate, 
So it doesn't matter which one you group, the answer will be the same. Just like in commutative. Even though you switch these around, the answer will still be the same. So that's the associative property of multiplication. Those are factors, that's a product, and those are parentheses. I'll see you next video. You're doing a great job. Hang in there and keep practicing your times table.